Mary and everybody else, but Jesus loved them very much and he loved Lazarus. But Jesus was out taking care of his business and somebody came back to Jesus and said, your friend Lazarus is in trouble. Your friend Lazarus has died. Jesus said, no, he's not. He's only sleeping. <laughs> no, he's not. He's only sleeping. But even these Jesus apostles who had been with him, they saw what he did for blind Bartimaeus. They saw what he had done for Jairus' daughter. They saw what he had done at the feeding of the 5,000. They saw the miracles that Jesus had done, but yet they said, he is dead. And there's nothing you can do about it. When the world tells you your dreams are dead, you say, in Jesus' name, they're not. When the world tells you you will never amount to nothing, you say, in Jesus' name, I will. When the Lord, when the world tells you that we are about to foreclose on your house, when the world tells you, not only have you lost your job, but there are no jobs left. Some of us have been employed, unemployed for two and three and five years and can't find a job. When the world tells you that there's nothing left, you tell them Jesus said there is something left. When the world tells you that you have died, when the world comes to you and gives you a bad report and says you only have six months to live, I don't believe it until Jesus tells me it's so. Amen. So they got this message. And then they went back. Jesus finally went back. And Jesus told them he was asleep. They said, Lazarus is asleep. And they got back, and Jesus said, I'd take me to him. Take me to him and roll away the stone. Touch your neighbor and say, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Touch another neighbor and say, roll away the stone. You see, this world has placed you in a tomb. This world has placed you in a tomb. This world has told you that you are dead. This world has said Christians are dead. This world is saying Catholics are dead. This world is trying to conform you to its own age. And the world has placed you in a tomb and rolled a rock over it. Said you are dead. But Jesus says to you today, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus, roll away the stone. But then guess what your friends are going to say? Guess what? Lazarus has been inside there for not one day, not two days, not three. Lazarus has been in there for four days, and he's been in there so long, he's so dead, he's stinking. <laughs> Don't laugh, because some of us are still stinking from the stench of sin in our lives. Some of us have been stinking for months. Some of us have been stinking for years. Some of us have been stinking for 10, 20, and 40 years. Why? Because we have not rolled away the stone of fear to go and celebrate the sacrament of confession. Amen. Amen. When we don't use the sacraments that God has given us, then we cannot truly walk in his anointings. We cannot truly walk in his spirit. And so we roll away the stone of fear in our lives and we go to confession. And we get rid of that stench of death. And then, just as we hear the priest say those words, as we hear God tell us through the priest, I absolve you of your sin. Go and sin no more. Then at that moment, Jesus will say to you the same words he said to Lazarus, Lazarus, come out of the grave. I command you to come out of the death that you have lived in. 
That's what Jesus is telling us. Once we roll away the stone of fear in our lives, to come out even though the world says you are dead. There's one final piece to that. And it doesn't get preached very often. We preach about how Lazarus came out. Jesus ordered him to come out. Jesus ordered Lazarus to come out. And Lazarus came out. And that's where the story ends. Amen? No. 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 It does not end there. John chapter 12, verse 44. Verse 43, when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands. And his face, face was wrapped in cloth. He had burial bands. He had death bandages around his hands. He had death bandages around his feet. He had a death bandage around his face when he came out of the tomb. When you come out of the tomb, church, when you come out of death, Jesus says, untie him. Loose the bandages of death and free him. When we come out, brothers and sisters, we have to kill the flesh. We have to kill the flesh. And in order for us to truly live in the spirit, we have to let go of the old ways. We have to loose the bandages that held us in bondage and captivity for so many years. And once we loose those bandages, then we can break free of sin and we can shout hallelujah. Then we can truly live the abundant life as only Jesus Christ can provide through the promise of the Father, which is his sweet, sweet Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You see, that's what tomorrow is all about, church. That's the celebration. Tomorrow is the day that we celebrate when Jesus went to the Father and those Catholic saints prayed the first Holy Novena for nine days. They prayed that the Lord would release them. And they finally got the blessing of the Father. They finally received the promise of the Father. They finally received the advocate, the comforter, the provider, the Holy Spirit who breathed new life. Amen. The church was born and the world has never been the same Amen. since. This conference the same way you walked in here you have no one to blame but yourself so many people have put this conference on so that someone's life so that your life would be changed so that your life will be renewed so that God can blow a new wind of change in your life Roll away the stone. Come out and unchain yourselves from the binds of this world. No longer shall we live by the flesh. We shall live by the Spirit of God. Do you believe that? Somebody say amen. 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 And amen. Give God some praise right now. Do we have time for any questions or are we done? Say again. By the clock, we're done. Amen. I know when to be humble. Thank you very much. God's blessings upon you all. I'd like to leave you with a blessing if you don't mind. 
May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your field, and until the Lord's Holy Spirit brings us together again, may the God of all creation, the God of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jack, Jacob, continue to hold you in the hollow of his hand. And we make this prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let the church say, Amen. Thank you again, and God bless you.